just really proud of this team and um, all the guys that uh, stepped up in the absence of, you know, some of our main starters. And uh, it was just a beautiful game for us. Um, everyone stepped up into, uh, you know, a larger level of responsibility and, and got the job done. And, you know, the guys that, that were, were unable to play tonight, you know, Malcolm, Karras, Domas, Miles, they were up all night encouraging those those guys. And it was just a, just a beautiful night to, to, you know, to be a part of this. And so, uh, you know, last couple games, we're, we're showing signs of being, you know, a team that people don't want to play. I mean, uh, you know, with a, with a real resilience, a real collective will. And uh, so I'm just real happy for them. Guys that made great individual plays. Kiefer was tremendous down the stretch. Uh, Justin's shot at, at the end of regulation was uh, obviously huge. Um, and a lot of other guys stepped up. So, you know, what can you say? It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a great night for us. As we've talked about before, Kiefer has had like literally a movie made about him, documentary. For him to have those back-to-back -back shots um, in overtime, after struggling all night to shoot the ball, what that just says about his resiliency individually. Yeah, you know, and it's 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 all demonstrated in the documentary, and um, as I have witnessed in recent days, um, the documentary is being augmented. There's a videographer. Uh, we're having, or he, I should say, his camp is having trouble getting them um, admitted into. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the road arenas, you know, I don't know. I don't know why he wouldn't, you know, allow this story to be continued um, in as much detail as possible. High def, everything. Um, but it doesn't matter. He's going to have the film footage and it's, it's a continuation of one of the amazing stories in sport. And was it Justin shot the shot you, you wanted there? I mean, obviously. Of course. <laughs> Just making sure. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah. Hey, I, I, you know, there were so many events in this game, so many things that happened um, that, you know, it was just, uh, it's hard to remember everything. But I do want to say that, um, you know, this is you know, truly, you know, one of the hardest plays, to, uh, the hardest teams to, to play against and match up against and come up with a game plan against because of the amazing abilities that their players have. They have great coaching um, you know, they're just a, you know, they're a well-oiled machine. And uh, Lloyd Pierce came up with a plan that had great simplicity. <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't easy, but it, it gave us a chance tonight. And the guys fought tooth and nail to execute it. Uh, we got some breaks, um, but the breaks are made when you play hard and do the right things. And, uh, but uh but but Lloyd did a tremendous job over there and, and a tremendous job in the prep for this game. And then what do you think of just your your youth, the, the guys that are young that, that stepped up? Chris Duarte had a really good game. Isaiah Gogo before he was um, ejected. I mean, all those guys seem to kind of see the moment. Yeah, really, I, I can't think of anybody that didn't contribute significantly to this game. You know, even guys that didn't shoot particularly well. I mean, I think... Chris Duarte had a great game. Um, Isaiah Jackson has kept himself ready. I mean, yesterday um, in LA, you know, he went over early to the uh, to the crypto center and did a half hour work before shoot around, just keeping himself tuned up just in case, you know. Um, Goga had a tremendous night. And, you know, the attitude that he showed when he got ejected um, is one of the reasons that, you know, we, we were as resilient as we were and defiant as we were tonight. Cause you gotta be defiant to, to come in here second night of a back-to-back, -back, you know, with, um, you know, the, the guys out that we had out and, and be able to pull off a win. Anybody on zoom have anything? Go ahead, Scott. Yeah, Rick, when you come into a game severely under man like this, how much do you kind of throw out a game plan and just in terms of rotations and minutes and that type of thing, almost completely, a feel thing as the game wears on. Well, this, this is more of a feel thing tonight than um, a game like last night, because, you know, there are, there are going to be some unknowns. Um, and, 
We benefited tonight that it was a national TV game. It gave us three and a half, three, uh, three minute, 15 second timeouts instead of two minute, 15 seconds. It's, it's a huge difference in the scope of the, of the total game. Um, it allowed our guys that played last night to have a chance to get that little extra rest, rest get their breath, um, get back out on the court and continue to work to execute. Um, but look, this is, this is one of those nights that, uh, you know, Indiana faithful, you know, uh, live for, I mean, the, these are the, these are the stories of, you know, um, underdog teams that, that, you know, give themselves a fighting chance and, and, uh, and find a way. And, uh, it was, it was beautiful to watch, beautiful to be a, be a part of, and just really happy for the guys. They really fought for it. Tony East. Rick, you got 60 points from rookies tonight. How impressed were you by the performances of all those guys in this one? Well, I was impressed, but I can't say I was surprised. Um, all of these guys have shown the wherewithal to step up in these situations. Uh, Chris Duarte had two of his best games, you know, uh, against the Clippers, against the Lakers. Um, and then he had another really strong one tonight. Uh, Isaiah Jackson contributed in a lot of ways, not just on the scoring column. You know, Sykes has been has been a remarkable story, as I've already mentioned. Um, but he just, uh, you know, he, his will to compete, his will to, you know, to sit down and do do everything possible to make it tough on Steph, um, you know, was huge. And then, uh, you know, Dwayne Washington didn't finish the game tonight, but he made a lot of big shots, and he's he's a movement maker that really has helped us in recent games establish a, an offensive style that that we believe you know is is going to be what we look like going forward okay two more christos coach speaking about the Kiefer season so far what is the biggest growth on his game uh, on both ends especially in the decision making in crunch time well you know I, i think the thing that impresses me most um, about Kiefer sykes is his belief in himself. And if you've seen his documentary, uh, if you've seen him function from summer league on through G league action to a shot with a big team, um, earning a contract for the rest of the year, uh, you know that this guy has great belief and, and great inner strength. He didn't have a very good first half. Uh, didn't go particularly well at the beginning of the game. Halftime as a staff, we talked about, you know, should we do something different? And everybody agreed that we need his minutes. Um, you know, here's a guy that's proven he can bounce back from a tough start. And boy, did he ever. It was just, uh, it was an amazing effort, amazing to watch. And, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's just so deserving of every good thing that's happening to him right now. Okay, last question, Brendan. Hey, Rick, which is who was out and what you had to do to grind out two wins in the last couple nights? I know this might be tough to answer, but is this the most gutsiest back-to-back you've ever been a part of? Gosh, I don't know. I mean, I've coached like 1,600 games or some ridiculous number. Um, I'd have to say it's up there. Um, and I'm not big on looking back at things or whatever. Uh, I just know that that I really – love this group of guys. I love the coaching staff. You know, I love the the management people. Steve Simon's here tonight. He came in before the game. We had a, a nice visit. He's here with his kids tonight. You know, having, having him here to support us tonight was, was meaningful. Um, and, you know, all, all these things, sometimes, you know, sometimes the, the stars align and, and special moments can happen. Um, but this is a group that that's gaining more and more belief in themselves And uh, as we said at the beginning, you know, we want to be a team, you know, one of those teams that nobody wants to play. And, and tonight we showed the wherewithal and, and the resiliency to do that.